Let's draw the Lewis structure here for C2H5Br. This is called bromoethane. So the first thing we should do is count our valence electrons up. Carbon has four, we have two carbon atoms. Hydrogen has one, five of those. And then bromine, that has seven. So we have a total of 20 valence electrons here for the C2H5Br Lewis structure. We'll put the carbons in the center of our structure. The hydrogens, they always go on the outside. And since the carbon is less electronegative than the bromine, it makes sense for it to be on the inside of our lowest structure. That'll look like this. So we have 20 valence electrons. Let's put a pair of electrons between atoms, and that's going to form the chemical bond. Then we can complete the octet on the bromine. Hydrogen, it only needs two valence electrons. So each of the hydrogen has two. We're done with those. So let's do the bromine. So at this point, we've used all 20 valence electrons. The bromine, it has eight, that's an octet. The carbons, each carbon has eight, an octet. And then each hydrogen has two, and that's all it needs. So this is the Lewis structure for C2H5Br, bromoethane. If you looked at this in three dimensions, you can see that it really doesn't matter which side you put the bromine on. So here I have it here, but if I spin the molecule around, it's still the same molecule, it's just over here. Or I could flip it down lower, and that would still be the same molecule. Let's go back. Do note that we could also write this structure like this, where each line represents a pair of electrons, and then we don't write the lone pairs on the bromine. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for C2H5Br, bromoethane. Thanks for watching.